Hello, hello, hello! First graders, today we are doing lesson 131, which is a review of consonant digraphs. And because we're going to be talking about consonants, I want to just remember and be really clear about what the consonants are. So do you remember our song where we go, the rest are consonants, and then we have to grab it. And then we go through and we sing just the consonants and we skip the vowels. B, C, D, F, G, H. Do you remember that? I want to do that song before we start today just as a warm up. So will you start with me on the rest are consonants. Ready? The rest are consonants. Okay, just the consonants. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Nice job. Okay, let me tell you what I've done. We have so many letter cards that we have learned this year that I split them, what, into three sections. And here's my idea. We'll do the first section today, the next section tomorrow, and then the next section the next day, and then we'll just start back over and we'll keep going through the letter cards each section until we've gone through all of them. And then the same thing with the picture cards. So, will you start with me on digraph UE? Ready? Digraph UE, A, consonant E, H, D, F, R, Q, combination Q, U, digraph A, I, digraph A, Y, U, trigraph I, G, H, O, T, K, E, I, consonant E, M, S, combination I, R, combination A, R, combination O, R, woo, combination E, R, Combination U R digraph U E. Nice job. Okay, putting those away, and then let's do the same thing with our picture cards. Starting kite. K. Ready? Kite. K. Vest. V. Bubble. Bull. Staple. Pull. Hose. O. Cat. K. Inch. I. Icicle. I. Cry. I. Candy. E. Leaf. E. Thread, eh, stay, a, bottle, tull, bugle, gull, pig, p, apple, a, acorn, a, tent, t, sun, s, rose, z, candle, dull, duck, k, fish, f, hat, h, ruffle, full, dog, d, goat, g, rabbit, r, kite, Nice job. Kind of like rocked those, don't you think? Okay, our affix deck. This might be kind of tricky because there's prefixes and suffixes all together. So you can tell if it's a prefix, if it has the box first and then the line because that stands for where the root word would have to go. If it's a suffix, guess what? then the line comes first because it shows the word would come right here in front of it. So it's tricky to see. I like to just memorize which ones are prefixes, which ones are suffixes. Can we go through starting prefix pre? Ready? Prefix pre, prefix dis, prefix un, suffix full, suffix er, suffix est, suffix s, -z -z. Suffix lee, suffix e, suffix ness, suffix less, suffix ing, suffix t d ed, suffix as, prefix pre. You got it. Nice job. Okay. Let's come to our spelling sounds. And I think today, hmm. Our spelling sounds are going to be a little bit tricky because we only have 10 lessons left. So I want to make sure you know all the spelling sounds that you'll need to know to be like a super big smart second grader. Okay, 
So starting on number one, I'll say I point to you, you say it and tell me the letters that make that sound. Uh, we can probably see it well enough, right? Good enough. Number one, ch. Digraph ch, final digraph ch, comma, trigraph tch. Write it. Number two, u. U, consonant E, comma, U, final, digraph, U, E. U, consonant E. Number three, this is a combination, number three. W, combination, W, H. You got it. Number four, j, j comma g, final trigraph, d, g, e, comma, g, e, j comma g. Number five, s. S comma C, final, S, S comma C, E. S comma C. Number six, er, combination, E, R. Number seven, or combination O R. You got it. Number eight. I. I consonant E, comma I, final vowel Y. I consonant E. Number nine, qu, combination, Q, U. Number 10, oi, diphthong, O, I, final diphthong, O, Y. That was a lot of spelling sounds. Okay, as soon as you have that part done, you can set your pencil and worksheet aside. And we're going to do something just a little bit different today because it's a review. These are things that we've already learned. So what I want to do first is just review what is a digraph. And say this with me if you already know this, because a lot of you already know this. I'm gonna start a digraph is two letters. Okay, ready? A digraph is two letters that come together and make one sound. You got it. Okay. And there are two kinds of digraphs. There are vowel digraphs, consonant digraphs. Ooh, some kids knew that. Will you do it one more time? There are vowel digraphs, consonant digraphs. And of course, vowel digraphs are made out of vowels. And consonant digraphs are made out of consonants. You knew it. Okay, so I'm going to get out my whiteboard and I wanna do just a little bit of review for what consonant digraphs we have already learned this year. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to have you write a consonant digraph and code the consonant digraph. And then I wanna see if you remember the picture that goes with that digraph. Okay, so let's do the first one. Write for me digraph C K. It says k, k, k. And how do we code it? We underline cross out, right? Because we always underline digraphs. And what I want you to do is um, I'll give you 10 seconds 
to try to draw which picture goes with. CK says K. And for each one of these, I'll give you a clue. And this one, your clue is, it's an animal that says quack, quack. Okay, 10 seconds, go. Ooh, I have to draw it too. Oh man. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, in case you don't know, I'm terrible at drawing. Let's check it. You should have said duck k. Will you do it? Duck k. You got it. And I hope you remember the rule about CK is that it only comes at the end of a word. We call it final digraph CK. Ooh, that was kind of fun. Will you do it? We call it final digraph CK. Okay, when I say erase, erase, erase the whole board. Or of course, if you have a piece of paper, just scoot over and let's do our next consonant digraph. Um, actually, there are two. So let's split it down the middle. And on this side, we write digraph T H. And on this side, we write digraph T H. And underline the digraph, underline the digraph. But in this second one, what I want you to do is give it a little voice line to show that this one says, uh, uh, uh. can we do that? Okay, and I want you to draw for me which digraph reminds us that TH says, I'll give you a clue. It's something you would wear on your finger if you were sewing with a needle and you didn't want to get poked. Ready, go. Okay, time's up, let's check it. You should have drawn a thimble. Will you do it? Thimble, you got it. And over here, this is something that might be found on a duck. To remind us, TH says, uh, will you draw it if you know it? Okay, time's up, let's check it. You should have done. Feather, hmm. We say it. Feather, hmm. Nice job. Erase, erase. Next one, will you do for me digraph and G and underline. Draw for me which picture reminds us NG says ng, ng, ng. Give you a clue, it's something pretty you might wear on a finger. Go. Okay, did you get it? Let's check it. You should have said ring ng. Ready? Ring ng. You got it. Erase, erase. Next one, draw for, oh, I like this one. Write for me, digraph S H underline. What picture reminds us? SH says, shh. Give you a clue. This is a ferocious animal that lives in the ocean. Go. Okay, did you get it? That wasn't a lot of time, but I think you probably remembered. This one is shark shh. Ready? Shark shh. Actually, let's do it in a mean voice because sharks can be really mean. Let's go shark shh. Ready? Shark shh. You got it. Erase, erase. Next digraph, write for me the letters C H. Underline. Which picture reminds us CH says ch, ch, ch. Give you a clue. This is a food that a lot of little mice might like to eat. Go. OK, 
Hey, can we check it? You should have drawn a picture of cheese. We say cheese. Ch. Ready? Cheese. Ch. You got it. Erase, erase. Next diagraph. Hmm, this is a tricky one. Is anyone going to remember this? Draw for me diagraph P H. Underline. Which picture reminds us that PH says, give you a clue, this is something you could call someone on or text someone on. Go. Can we check it? You should have drawn a picture of a phone. We say phone. Ready? Phone. You got it. Erase, erase. Okay, last one. Mm, we're going to split our board a couple of times. So come over here, split it near, near the edge, but still giving yourself some room to draw. And again on the other side. And then up above on the first column, will you write digraph? Or I should have said ghost digraph. K. N, underline, cross out the K. Next one, will you write ghost digraph? G, N, underline, cross out the G. And then last one, W, R, underline, cross out the W. Because remember, we used to say these first sounds and we don't anymore. That's why they're ghost digraphs. And will you draw for me the picture that goes with each one? Starting KN says, mm, something sharp you might use in a kitchen. Go. Okay, let's check just that one. You should have done something like a, something like this, but it's called a knife. Mm, say it, knife. Mm, you got it. GN is some little insect that can be kind of annoying. Draw it. Okay, can we check it? You should have drawn a picture of a gnat. We say gnat. Mm. Ready? Gnat. Mm. You got it. Last one. Draw for me the picture that reminds us WR says something you might hang on a door. Go. Okay. Can we check it? You should have said wreath er. Ready? Wreath er. You got it. Erase, erase. Guess what? Those are all of our consonant digraphs. If I just say them, will you count? Oh, and actually don't put your whiteboard away yet because we're going to practice with some words. But if I just say the digraphs, will you count with me how many we've learned? Fingers up. Ready? Digraph CK, digraph TH, and it makes two sounds, but it's still just digraph TH, so we'll just count it as one sound. Digraph NG, Digraph SH, digraph CH, digraph PH, digraph GN, KN, WR. What? Nine consonant digraphs. Holy crow, that's a lot. Okay, back to our whiteboard. Here's what I want to do is go through just some practice with spelling with consonant digraphs. And all I want you to do is underline the consonant digraph in each of these words. My turn first. Trick. What word? Trick. Did you find the consonant digraph at the end of that word? Okay, let's check it. Trick should be T R I. C, K, consonant digraph, C, K, erase, erase. Next word, uh, do for me the word spring. What word? Spring. 
Think about which three letters say ing, ing, ing. There's no letter E. Underline the consonant digraph. Can we check it? Spring should be S-P-R-I-N-G. Consonant digraph N-G says ng. Nice job. Erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word shell. What word? Shell. Underlining the consonant digraph. Okay, let's check it. Shell should be S-H-E-L-L. -L. Consonant digraph S-H says shh. It's the quiet digraph. Erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word punch. What word? Punch. I drank some punch. Can we check it? Punch should be P-U-N-C-H. Digraph C-H at the end says ch. Erase, erase. Next word, would you get your clappers up? And actually, I'm just going to tell you the digraph because there's not a rule for what it should be. We're going to use digraph PH to say, <sighs> clap with me the word gopher. Ready? Go, fur. For syllable, go. Use digraph PH, make it say go, fur. Go, fur. You could code the whole thing. I'm just coding the consonant digraph. Let's check it. Gopher should be G-O-P-H-E-R. Digraph P-H in the middle of go fur. Remember to fix it if you need to. Otherwise, erase, erase. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this is a ghost digraph G-N. Did you hear it? Ghost digraph G-N. Spell for me the word Gnome. What word? Gnome. Using GN says n, 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 gnome. Think about what makes your O say O, O, O. Let's check it. Gnome is ghost digraph G N O M E. And of course, GN is underlined, crossed out. Wouldn't it be funny if instead of a little garden gnome, a little creature called a gnome, we said a garden gnome? <laughs> kind of funny. Do you want to try it with me? We, we called it a garden gnome. <laughs> erase, erase. Next word is a ghost digraph. K-N says N. Spell for me the word knob. What word? Knob. Using K-N says N. Can we check it? Knob should be ghost digraph, K-N-O-B, like I turn the knob on the door, knob. Erase, erase. Last one is ghost digraph, W-R. Did you hear it? Ghost digraph, W-R. Spell for me the word, wrist. What word? Wrist. Using W-R says, er. Okay, let's check it. Wrist should be W-R-I-S-T. And then we underline, cross out the W. I'm so glad we don't say wrist, wrist. That was kind of funny. We do it ready. Wrist, wrist. You got it. Sounds much better just to say wrist. Erase, erase. Okay, that was a good practice. Now we're going to come to our worksheet and finish our worksheet with even some more practice but I'm gonna have you spell it first. Okay. Uh-oh, do you know what I think I did? I think I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, here we go. At the bottom, by number 11, doo -de doo -de doo spell for me the word black. What word? 
black. Black. Okay, would you spell black for me? Starting on B. Ready? B L A C K. I hope you got C K at the end of black. Next word, spell for me the word those. What word? Those. Those. Okay, would you spell those starting T H? Ready? T H O S E. You got it, digraph. T H says th. Number 13, spell for me the word. Ooh, guess what? We didn't review this digraph. <gasps> I wonder if you still remember it. We're gonna try it anyway. Spell for me the word think. What word? Think. Think about which digraph says unk, unk, unk at the end of think. Okay, will you tell me if you think you know it? Starting T, ready? T H A N K. Whoa, it should have been digraph NK at the end of think. Sorry, I forgot to go over that one with you. Number 14 up at the top, spell for me the word show. What word? Show. Okay, would you spell show for me? Ready? S H O W. We needed O W to say O at the end, but consonant digraph sh at the beginning. Number next, spell for me the word munch. What word? Munch. Munch. Okay, will you spell munch? Ready? M-U-N-C-H. You got it. Digraph ch at the end of munch. Number 16, Spell for me the word bring. What word? Bring. Bring. Starting BR. Can we spell it? Ready? B R I N G. Digraph N G in bring. 17. Spell. This is a digraph PH word. Ready? Spell for me the word phone. What word? Phone. Phone. Okay, starting PH, spell it. P H O N E. You got it. Digraph PH says f in phone. Okay, let's go through our coding. Uh, this is gonna go kind of quickly and it's different than the coding we've done before because every single word has a picture Which I think is kind of fun first word digraph th underline O consonant e make gron cross out Will you split it between the two words between the H and the R read above the a? Okay, read one word at a time starting B get ready bath robe what word? Bathrobe. You got it. And there's a picture of the bathrobe. Match it. Go downstairs. Digraph CH, underline. Digraph NK at the end, underline. Will you split it between the P and the M for the two words? Breathe above the I, breathe above the U. Will you read one word at a time starting CH? Get ready. Chip, monk. What word? Chipmunk. You got it. Do you see the cute little chipmunk? Match it. Downstairs, box your suffix S. Root word, EA says eh. Underline cross out breathe above the E. Digraph TH says uh. Underline voice line. Combination ER says er. Arc it. We're supposed to find a vowel pattern, but I wonder if we could read it without the vowel pattern. Can we try it? Just doing one part at a time, root word first. Ready? F set. Let's start on the F. Get ready. Fe, ther, 
whole word, feathers. You got it, that word is feathers. Match it. Oh, 21 is tricky. There are two words and a vowel pattern. Ready, digraph CH, underline it. Digraph CK, underline crossed out. Oh, combination ER says er, arc it. Digraph OA says O, underline crossed out, macron the O. We just split it between the R and the B for those two words. Split it between the R and the B. And then in this first word, nice and small, will you find a vowel pattern? E is a vowel. E is a vowel. CK counts as a consonant. Split it after the first consonant. And can we read one syllable at a time starting CH? Get ready. Check. Er, board. What word? Checkerboard. You got it. That's a checkerboard. Come down here. Match it. 22, box your suffix S. Root word, digraph EA says E, underline cross out, macron the E. Digraph PH says F, underline. O, consonant E, macron cross out. This is another compound word. Split it between the R and the P to find those two words. Can we read just the root words first? Starting EA says E, get ready. Ear, phone, whole word, earphones. You got it, earphones like you wear over your ears. There's the picture, match it. 23, digraph NG underline, I consonant E, Make run cross out. We split it between the two words between the G and the T. Okay, one word at a time starting SPR. Get ready. Spring time. What word? Springtime. You got it. Like, oh, Miss Smith can't wait for springtime to come. Match it. 24. Ooh, I saved the trickiest one for last. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay. Box your suffix as. Root word, digraph AI says A, underline cross out, macron. Digraph SH says sh, underline. Breathe above the U. And then will you split it between the two words, between the T and the B? And then can we read one word at a time, root word first, starting P A I? Get ready. Paint, brush, whole word, paint brushes. You got it. That word is paint brushes. Okay. I know that I always tell you a story at the end if you stay right with me. So I guess today I will tell you the story. My story today is about chipmunk. This is kind of cute. When my daughter Isabel was three years old, we went to the park one day and there were two little chipmunks that were playing near a tree and they were being so cute. So one of the chipmunks would run up the tree and then the other chipmunk would follow afterwards and then the other chipmunk would run back down and the second chipmunk would run back down and they were playing with each other and chasing each other. And Isabel said, mommy, can I catch the chipmunk? And I said, I guess you can try because I knew that the chipmunks would be too quick for her. So she ran over with her little fat fingers and she was chasing the chipmunks and she was going, chipmunk, come here, chipmunk, come here. And she was, you know how sometimes when you call a dog or a cat, you go, come here. She was going, chipmunk, come here, come here. And they still just kept running up one tree, up the other, down the tree, down came the other. They just kept running everywhere and no matter how hard she ran, no matter how fast she went, she could never catch those little chipmunks even though she kept going, chipmunk, come here. <laughs> Can you do it like she did, ready? Chipmunk, come here. She was kind of funny. She was so sad not to catch a chipmunk that day. Whew, good work with consonant digraphs. Okay. See you next time. Bye.